Welcome to another episode of The Mullen Zone. After a long day of driving and detours, we set up camp for the next six nights at Ure Riverside Resort. We were immediately rewarded with breathtaking views of canyon walls, waterfalls, the river, and Mount Sneffels, all visible right from our premium extra wide riverfront site. The next morning we visited the URA Visitor Center and made a plan to visit several sites of interest. First we visited the famous Switzerland of America sign. URA obtained this nickname due to the striking resemblance to Switzerland. From the parking lot near this sign there are several scenic overlooks. Next we went to Box Canyon Park to view Box Canyon Falls. This area in the wintertime is home to the Ure Ice Park where you can be a spectator or join in to some epic ice climbing. Although the visitor center told us dogs were allowed, we soon found out they were not. The walk to the falls is close enough that we were able to take turns so that no one missed out on the views while dog sitting. We finished our day with a little walking tour of the town and a late lunch at the Gold Bill restaurant. This was honestly one of the better burgers I've had in my life. And this wasn't even the restaurant known in town for the best burgers. You won't find any franchises or chain restaurants in Ure, but you won't find a bad meal either. Ure Brewery always has a line and is highly rated, but a local told us to visit Red Mountain Brewery instead. We were blown away by the big nasty chicken sandwich. Be sure to try it. There was a heat wave going on and we took our time in the cooler section of Ure's one and only grocery store. Be sure to stock up in Montrose because although this store has everything you need, it is pricey. Another favorite was Mouse's Chocolate. We went one day for a shake and we were hooked. We came back three days in a row. The view of Cascade Falls from your table inside their store is pretty special as well. Back 
at our campground, we just couldn't get enough of the beautiful views. With our binoculars and zoom lenses, we were able to see several old mine shafts. Historical evidence of mining is everywhere you look in this area. We also enjoyed walking and biking the two mile loop around the river that was accessible from our campsite. We frequently saw deer enjoying this feature as well. Right there on that lot we're gonna buy. It's a sign. See the one by the tree that's looking at us. There's, a, there's another one that's behind that those two trees. I see one to the right. <laughs> 